modern-day pirates. They carried out sophisticated cyber attacks over a seven-month period. As of now, there doesn't really seem to be any one person in charge. They're called Lulz Sec. Behind one phrase, respect existence. Expect resistance. You are walking this road. A teenager living in New York picks up his parents' phone to contact the customer support of World of Warcraft. Oh my god, he just ran in. But instead, he gets connected to a secure FBI line. And in Detroit, an FBI officer tries to get in touch with his officials, but instead, he's connected to a toy store. Lulzseg takes claim, and they receive their first stamp of authenticity. They then go on a hacking spree to take down the Fox News channel, LinkedIn profiles, and the names of 73,000 X Factor contestants. They release the transaction logs of 3,100 ATMs in the UK. Basically, they cause chaos for the fun. And their next move brings them international attention. The American public broadcasting system suddenly saying Tupac Shakur and Biggie Smalls are still alive and living in New Zealand. The hackers then used an SQL injection method in which malicious SQL statements are inserted into an entry field for execution. This tricks the software into vulnerability and results in Sony Pictures data, names, passwords being leaked. Lulzsec motivation, lawsuit, George Hoyts, who jailbroke the PlayStation 3. That's not fair. The members of Lulzsec then release lists of hack usernames to inform the public of vulnerable websites and give them a chance to save themselves from being exploited. On June 9th, an email pops up on the computer of an administrator at the British National Health Service. The email informs them of a security vulnerability in the NHS system. Next, they hack into Bethesda, but they remain quiet about it. Just sit there. The meerkat distracts the humans, while his sister sneaks behind. An important possession. With their winter den complete, the meerkat family now has access to Disrupt Plus. They can stream hundreds of hours of series, films and podcasts. Plus, they've unlocked patron-only rewards. But unfortunately for the meerkats, electricity does not come easy in the wild. Next, they hack into Bethesda. But they remain quiet about it. Just sit there. Should have acted. They already. Until a few months later, when they tweet out, <laughs> Next, they take down Minecraft, League of Legends, The Escapists, and an IT security company called Finfisher. They try to hack into Nintendo, but a video emerges.
organization affiliated with the FBI. They defaced the website with a message. On June 13th, they decided to step it up and release the emails and passwords of a number of users of the U.S. Senate. Stakes escalate even further when a planned attack of the CIA is committed. On June 15th, the website goes offline. But internally, all of the systems are sent into an immediate lockdown. The event makes headlines. Lulsec claimed responsibility. And at 8 p.m., they release their clutch. Then begins their largest event yet, as they team up with Anonymous and declare full cyber warfare. Multiple releases from Lulsec encourage their supporters to steal and publish classified information and leave the term anti-sec as a mark of intrusion. By 11 a.m., the database of Serious Organized Crime Agency, a national law enforcement office in the UK, is compromised and their website is taken down. The team there exhausts all their resources to bring the website back online just to witness another attack later that day. It takes another 24 hours for them to get their website back online, only to find it fully vandalized with the term What follows is a game of cat and mouse, because on the 21st of June, the London Metro Police arrest a 19-year-old from Wickford, locally known as Ryan. Lulzsec denies any association with the man. On the 22nd of June, the Brazilian unit of Lulzsec comes online as they take down two government websites. Personal information of the president and the mayor of Sao Paulo is made public. On June 25th, we see their last data dump. It contains numerous information from Sony Viacom and Disney to EMI and NBC Universal. For the next month, Lulzsec is fairly quiet until July 18th, when a British newspaper, The Sun, is hacked. Their website is redirected to The Times, whose website has also been hacked to resemble The Sun. An uproar is instigated when a fake story is posted to the fake Sun, reporting that Rupert Murdoch, owner of both The Sun and The Times, has died. The disbandment of Lulzsec comes as a surprise. The number of enemy hackers who wanted to reveal their identities increased over time. A pastebin post in June 2011 from hacker KillerCube identified Lulzsec's Sabu as Hector Monsegur, and later that month, a group called Team Web Ninjas appears, with the goal of identifying all members of Lulzsec on behalf of the victims of the group's hacks. Then another hacker, a Nero, takes down the group's website and Twitter page. And on that same day, The Guardian publishes leaked logs from one of the group's IRC channels. And soon, another group called The A-Team claims to have the full list of all Lulzsec members. The continuous cries of revealing our identities has pressured Lulzsec into disbanding. The London Metro Police and the FBI are in full investigative swing. They execute a search warrant who denies ever being a member of Lulzsec but admits to chatting with the members. So soon, the FBI tracks down Sabu in the Lower East Side of New York. Over the following seven months, Sabu pleads guilty and agrees to work with them to unmask the other members. 18-year-old male from Shetland, Topier. Kayla, identified in London. Two other arrests are made in the Scotland Yard in Wiltshire and South Yorkshire, then Tiflo, followed by Pone Sauce in Ireland. Today, only one of the core seven members has not been identified yet. Avenue. 
after all is said and done, Lulzsec releases one final statement. 50 Days of Lulz. They claim they only planned to be active for 50 days, within which they wanted to cause as much chaos for the Lulz. Then, their website goes offline. Every last piece of digital evidence is wiped from the internet, and the information highway continues flowing on, leaving them behind in virtual, chaotic, 